Och så är det på oss. <laughs> We don't have any Neanderthal DNA. So we don't have any DNA in common? Well, that's not entirely true. Let's go slowly there. We have found no mitochondrial DNA. They found a very small amount of nuclear DNA, but the important point is that mitochondrial DNA, Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA, is missing from human DNA, right? What's mitochondrial DNA and what's nuclear DNA? Uh, the mitochondrial DNA is a DNA that's found is what is called the mitochondria. The mitochondria is a, so are subunits of the cell that process food. You know, when you eat, uh, what, what these uh, subunits do, they convert that food into energy that your body can use. Okay, okay? that's what it is. And uh, the important thing about that is not so much you know, what it is, because people don't really have to know all these details. All they need to know is that mitochondrial DNA comes from the mother. In, in mammals, especially in, you know, in hominids, it comes from the mother. In other words, the mother passes mitochondrial DNA to her children, not the father. There's no mitochondrial DNA from fathers. Okay. We inherit 100% of it from mothers. Okay. So if we happen not to find Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA in humans, well, that, that's kind of odd, wouldn't it be? I mean, for, for the admixture theory. Oh, so this Admi has to do with admixture. Yeah, admixture theory says that, you know, humans mated with Neanderthal some 40 to 80,000 years ago and that uh, we are their offspring. The Neanderthals did not become extinct. They became us. So we outpopulated them. Supposedly, this is the theory, not, not that we have a fact on this, but this is the theory. The theory is that humans emerged from Africa. They went into Europe and countered Neanderthals, and we had a 10 to 1 ratio, population ratio, Ten, 10 humans for every one Neanderthal. We were much more numerous. Okay. And that because of this, the Neanderthals eventually, you know, dissolved into our population. Okay. So Neanderthals really did not become extinct. They just mated with us and yeah. they were such a smaller group that their, their contribution to our DNA was much smaller. Ah, okay, okay. And then over the years, we lost some of them. We ended up with what little we have today. Now, what's this have, what does this have to do with this uh, DNA problem? Well, well it, it has to do with the mitochondrial DNA because we found no mitochondrial DNA, no, no Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA in humans, none whatsoever. I can, let, me, let me read a couple of uh, articles here that show clearly that, you know, there, there was none. These are all published articles, by the way. The Neanderthal sequence, uh, this is Crane's 1997. The Neanderthal sequence falls outside the variation of modern humans. The Neanderthals went extinct without contributing mitochondrial DNA to modern humans. Okay. Crane's 1999, and look at the dates also on all this. This is just two years later. The Neanderthal uh, uh, empty DNA is found to fall outside a phylogenetic tree relating the empty DNAs of, of contemporary humans. The results support the concept that the Neanderthal empty DNA evolved separately from that of modern humans for a substantial amount of time and lends no support to the idea that they contributed mitochondrial DNA to contemporary modern humans. So they're saying that uh, Neanderthals didn't contribute, contribute any mitochondrial DNA. Uh, of Chinnikov 2000, their empty DNA types have not contributed to the modern human empty DNA pool. Schultz 2000, the empty DNA sequences provided by Krings and the data presented here indicate a clear differentiation of Neanderthals and anatomically modern human uh, modern man and support the assumption that both taxa are discrete species. They're different species. This also means that Neanderthals cannot be the direct ancestor of anatomically modern man. Okay, Here we have Sarah, 2004. The retrieval of mitochondrial DNA sequences from four Neanderthal fossils has demonstrated that these individuals carry closely related mitochondrial DNAs that are not found among current humans. Here's Noonan, 2006. The maximum likelihood estimate for the Neanderthal contribution to modern genetic diversity is zero. None. 
Green, 2008, two years later. Analysis of the assembled sequence unequivocally establishes that the Neanderthal mtDNA falls outside the variation of extant human mtDNAs. They all seem to be saying the same thing. Uh, to say, yeah, Green 2010, the only part of the genome that has been examined from multiple Neanderthals, the mitochondrial DNA genome consistently falls outside the variation found in present-day humans and thus provides no evidence for interbreeding. And then we have the guru of, uh, of genetics, of Neanderthal genetics, uh, Svante Pavo at the Nobel Conference 2014, it's very clear that there is no one running around today with a mitochondrial, my, mitochondrial genome of a Neanderthal. So there seems to be that consensus. There's a total consensus, none of these tests. Why did they make so many though? Uh, and, and that's the point. The point is that you would think that after two or three tries, people would have given up and say, well, yeah, there's no, mitochond no Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA in humans. The point here is that this is all politics. They're trying at all costs and against all odds, trying to prove admixture. And when they found that there's no mitochondrial DNA, they said, well, no, run another test. Maybe, maybe the next one shows a little bit. Because and they ran another one, they didn't find any. And then they said, run another one, run another one, run another one. Why did they run so many? Because they were trying to find evidence to prove their, their foregone conclusions, which is admixture. Because if we don't have any Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA, then you can't conclude admixture. That's a well, it's very hard to, to support admixture theory because it means that we all our mothers were, were human mothers, and that's, nobody's challenging that, but uh, we had no Neanderthal mothers. We only had Neanderthal fathers, and that's very hard to that's believe. Very you know? specific. <laughs> but it, it gets worse because they run another uh, test, another uh, study, and this is on the Y chromosome. Now there's, women uh, have, uh, this is a sexual chromosome, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, uh, Women's have, uh, females have, especially you know, among hominids, uh, have XX and males have XY. Yeah. The Y is only passed from father to son. Okay. So Y chromosome only goes from father to son. And it turns out the study shows that we have no Y chromosomes from the Neanderthals. We only have human Y chromosomes. So Y chromosomes from humans don't match those of Neanderthals. <laughs> so we only men. have mitochondrial DNA from humans. Yeah, and, and we only have Y chromosomes from humans. Right. And here's here's mitochondrial the mitochondrial DNA comes from women, Y chromosomes come from men. <laughs> so we only had human mothers and we only had human fathers. Kind of like that. And here's the study, Mendes 2016, the Y chromosome divergence mirrors the population divergence of Neanderthals and modern human ancestor. It refutes alternative scenarios of a relatively recent or super archaic origin of Neanderthal Y chromosomes. The Neanderthal Y has never been observed in modern humans. The lineage is most likely extinct. In other words, we have inherited no Y chromosomes from Neanderthals. So, like you say, you know, we had no, we had, uh, men had no Neanderthal fathers, and we only, all of us, we only had Neanderthal mothers. Well, you know, that's like... No, we only had uh, human mothers. Hu human mothers. <laughs> so, it's like, you know, what are we saying here, you know? Wait, so how do they push uh, that mixture if, if there's so much... Um, Evidence. Well, they explained it away. Yes. Here I, I, I researched a little bit to find out what kind of answers they gave to yeah. why we lack the, this, uh, the DNA. Uh, and I'll just read them out. One, it says it's genetic drift. That means that over the centuries we just lost uh, this DNA, right, over time. The uh, second one, the hybrid boys didn't survive to bequeath the Y chromosomes. Now, how do they explain? Breed. Yeah, that means uh, the kids who are a product of both species somehow did not survive. The boys, the boys did not survive. So, Only the females survived. So no boys survived. Yeah, the, 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 that's that's, eight, <laughs> the they're trying to explain it away, right? The, the third one, my, incompatibility of mitochondrial DNA between the two species. That means that we did not inherit any mitochondrial DNA from Neanderthal females because theirs was incompatible with our uh, DNA mm -hmm. and so that part was lost but we kept the ones that were came from 
are human females. So wait, the children <laughs> of Neanderthal females didn't have that DNA? No, they had the DNA, but they, they, somehow they, it was incompatible with ours, and when they died, they, they just took it with them. <laughs> That's what they're saying. And then there's another, the dying out of the original population of humans that interbred with Neanderthals. Now this is unbelievable. So we yeah. went to Europe and we, we, we had sex, we had we interbred, all, we, we reproduced. We all died and then new humans came in. Yeah, you don't ask me, you ask them this question. Huh? The children of the Neanderthal mother stayed, stayed with the clan and died out with them. In other words, if a mother, if a Neanderthal mother had a boy, or, or a girl for that matter, those kids stayed with the, the Neanderthal clan. If a human mother had a kid with a Neanderthal, that kid stayed with us. So it turns out we inherited only from the mothers, uh, human mothers, and we did not inherit from the Neanderthal mothers because all that lineage eventually died out. That's, what, that's one explanation. And then another, uh, another one that I've got here, that many more Neanderthal males had sex with human females than human males with Neanderthal females. In other words, uh, uh, the Neanderthal males had a lot of sex with our females, and we had very little with their females. But that wouldn't make sense either, because... Well, if they were ugly, it would. No, no, but that wouldn't <laughs> explain why we don't have any Neanderthal white chromosomes. Yeah, yeah. In other words, that's 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 what they're trying to explain here. In other words, what they're saying, what they're saying here is that that, that, that would explain the mitochondria. No, no, no. But because it wouldn't explain why we don't have any Y chromosomes. From no, no. Males. Because uh, remember, it's only the females that survived, not the males. So the Neanderthal male had sex with our females. Yeah. Which were, you know, they were cheating on us. Yeah, uh, it's a very sexist theory. Or and 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 and. They had kids, but the males did not survive. It's the females that survived, and they they brought it all the way to us. Why are they so um, <laughs> so convinced that admixture is the reason Neanderthals died off? Is is it just that they can't think of a better one? And they just have to live with it. If if admixture dies, they really don't have an a, an explanation for the extinction of the Neanderthals. That's the it, it, like I said in the, in the in earlier, you know, uh, 90 to 99 percent of the theories are founded on humans getting re somehow being responsible for the disappearance of the Neanderthals. And if we remove humans from the equation, there is no theory yeah, out there. We don't have anything. There, there is nothing. And so, so they're putting all their eggs in one basket that. We had something to yeah. do with it, and the main one within that is that we had sex with them and had children, and that they simply disappeared because we they were them. we outpopulated them, and their genes got diluted over the centuries in our bigger population. Oh God. So what do you think of geneticists who say that your great-grandmother slept with a Neanderthal? Well, let me tell you what I think. Cowabunga!